Radio Television. This is RTE1. The Kaufman isn't intended for people like Amanda. It's basically a long-term care facility for hopeless cases. Well, Chris and his family have always thought that Amanda was a hopeless case. Uh, what if she's been trapped inside her head all these years, just desperate for someone to figure out that she is aware? By all means, get the test done. All I ask is that you prepare yourself for bad news. It seems likely that Amanda was wrongly classified. Sorry, you've had no life. And I've had, uh, all this. I'm sorry. How do you take it? He didn't say a word. Just looked at me and walked away. Cool. Off to find Jemima and give her the flick. But will he? Come on, Vinny's no doormat. That girl had a husband and she didn't even think to mention it. That is the last we're going to see of her. <sighs> Come on! We should be cracking up in the bottle of champagne and celebrating. No more mess in our kitchen. No more of that annoying accent. And best of all, no more watching her sponge off our friend. I know. I'm just worried about him. For some strange reason, he seems to have really fallen for her. Yeah, he'll be miserable for a couple of days and then the next babe will come along. Come on, you know the Vince stuff. Yeah, you're right. Hiya. Another day wasted. I tried five restaurants today. No luck. I was going to try one of those all-you-can-eat jobbies, but I You're don't married. Pardon? You heard. Right. Tanya told you this, did she? Well, it doesn't matter what she said. Were you planning on telling me you had a husband? One day. But he was so cruel to me, I've been trying not to think about him. Well, what did he do? I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. If you don't want to be with me knowing that I'm not yet divorced and I understand... Whoa, 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 hold on. You're getting a divorce? Of course. Our marriage is so over. <laughs> I take it this means that we're okay? Yeah, we're more than okay. Look, I've never been with anyone like you. I have never been with anyone like you, not even close. You see, you're funny, you're sexy and... You're the opposite of uptight, and when we're not together, I miss you. And you say the sweetest things, <laughs> which is why I am going to cook you dinner. Well, I may have found the perfect woman. Have you tried this? It's Italian, sweet and spicy, and I think it is just the thing to go with. Archie carts baked in mayo on toasted baguettes. Sounds good, babe. <laughs> you do the honours. You doing okay? I can put you behind the bar if the waitress hangs too hard. Oh, I'm fine. Running on adrenaline. How can Andrew believe it, even for a minute that he can take my babies away from me? I mean, what's he going to do? Wait outside the delivery room and then whip them off home? Andrew is just talking through a hole in his head. There's no way any court in this country will grant him custody. <sighs> Excellent. Thomas tapas are back on the menu. Oh, is that crumbed mushroom thing there? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, it's there, and no, you're not ordering it. Can I get you a drink to start? Yeah, can I have a beer? A uh, house Chardonnay for me, and a, um, a light beer for Craig. A light beer? What are you trying to do to me? I'll have a beer, please. And a house Chardonnay. Sure. Uh, Robin's on, you want to go somewhere else? And let her drive me away from my own local. All right, you grab a table, I'll grab the wine list. Uh, Andrew? Have you heard anything from Sarah? I haven't, no. Oh, she's due back in ED this week and I haven't had any confirmation. Sorry? Just one beer and then I'm off home. Really? Yeah, things to do.
Oh, good. I can never find a nurse when I need one. Can you stop his IV fluids and set him on oil? And he'll need to be referred to a dietitian for a soft diet. Yeah, I'll find someone. Um, just removing your IV fluids. Uh. Oh, come on, mister. Eat up. You know, some people actually prefer muesli and fruit to all that grease and fat. So have you finished packing yet? Mm-hmm. You excited? Mm -hmm. I'd make the most of it while you can if I was you, mate. There'll be no bacon or pancakes at rugby camp. Oh, no. Be up at five o'clock in the morning for 20 laps around the field and back for a breakfast of raw eggs and spinach. You know, he's joking, right? Am I? I'm sure Doug Howlett doesn't eat raw eggs. Mm, sure he doesn't drink light beer, either. I thought you were still in bed, mate. No, you got to get up early to get the shots, mate. Of what? The sunrise, Craig. Is he taking the mickey? I don't think so. The world's gone crazy. It sure has. I, I still haven't heard from Sarah. An ETA would have been nice. Well, you could try calling her parents. Hmm. Or I could just assume she'll show up or deal with it on the day if she doesn't. Yeah, that's all we can do, I suppose. I thought you'd be at work. I'm just on a quick break. How are you? Well, you look fantastic. Where's Daniel? Uh, he's at Mum and Dad's. I only came to collect our stuff. Hey, well, there's no hurry. In fact, I'm glad you're here because um, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Andrew, and I... um... No, no, just please, hear me out. There's been a lot of stuff well, going on. little guy, Daniel, sure does have a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, hi. You must be Andrew. Uh, Finn Morton? Andrew Solomon. I'm sorry, who are you? We met at the hotel in Samoa. And she conned me into helping her move. She's a slave driver, this one. 